Uh, Juan Mata going from Chelsea to Manchester United. How is this being received? You're in Madrid. How is this being received right now in Spain? I think that uh, all the Spanish media and the Spanish fans are, are, are happy. Uh, are happy because they're, they're going to have Juan Mata playing more than he was used to at Chelsea. Uh, this is a, a, a key player for, for the renewal that uh, Vicente del Bosque needs to do at the Spanish squad. Juan Mata uh, needs more minutes to show himself that he's a key player uh, for the World Cup and, uh, and he was sad. He was unhappy at Chelsea. I was uh, speaking with uh, some uh, one people from his entourage, and uh, he was saying that he he needed to go somewhere else, but not not any club, a very competitive club. I, mean, I think that uh, it's a good uh, news for for Spanish fans. It's a good news for for. Uh, football fans around the world because Manda is an, is, is an amazing player uh, and, and he will have you know the chance to show that at Manchester United. And he's left Chelsea and certainly the way the divorce happened between Real Madrid and Jose Mourinho you have to wonder if the folks in Madrid the Spanish public dislike Mourinho even more for the way he handled Mata is that safe to say? Uh, yeah, I mean, the, the, there are some, you know, some some media that are are, are pointing uh, that news in, in in that direction. I think it's just a matter of style. I mean, Mourinho like to play direct football, and, and Mata has the, a different pace. Uh, he's more a thinker, more more a, a, a strategist, and, and, and he's not so vertical as Hazard or some other players uh, at Chelsea. Uh, I think that he's the player that United needs right now. And probably for Mourinho's taste, taste, he was a little bit slow and not so physical as the other uh, players that he has at Chelsea. Okay. Well, guys, let's open up to you. And well, let's talk on any of those subjects. Do you want to talk about Barcelona? Juan no, Mata? exactly, no. No? <laughs> <laughs> well, Barcelona, I mean, I, I, think that, I can't I mean, talk about the politics at Barcelona. I don't, I don't know behind the scenes. But what do you say about no, uh, Chelsea? Well, what do you say about well, Chelsea's handling of the whole Juan Mata well, situation? Well, they've handled it as well as you would expect any club to handle it. Look, they've got a player who has been a good player for the club in the short period he's been there. They've brought a new man, well, they brought several managers in, uh, temporary and full-time who they sacked. They've gone back to, to who was very successful before, Mourinho. He doesn't fancy one matter. They're going to get a great price from him. That's going to allow Mourinho to spend. Who He was already told you have to sell players to bring players in to generate money. This is great business for Chelsea. Chelsea have played Manchester United twice this season already. Manchester United are not a threat to Chelsea in the Premier League. With Mata in the United side, they may be stronger taking points off the rest. It's win-win for the Blues. Uh, what did Juan Mata do wrong, you think, at Chelsea? They did not allow him to feature in that lineup for Jose Mourinho on a more frequent basis? Well, I think it has to do, one, with the players that came in and the, and the level that those players are performing at. Williams performing very well. Asar is playing very well. Oscar hasn't done himself any, any wrong. I think he's played very well for Jose Mourinho. And, and Mourinho feels comfortable with the rotation that, that he has in place. And uh, Martin just mentioned it. Juan Mata simply didn't fit the way that, that Chelsea wants to play under Jose Mourinho, where it's more direct, where it doesn't go through a number 10, it goes more through the flanks, and then you're, you're trying to exploit the, uh, the, 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 what you have in physical ability on, on, of Azar, of William, guys that are willing to give you work offensively, but that are also willing to give you the work defensively. And that's not what Mata does well. What Mata does well is a guy that gets the ball, distributes fine passes in the final third, finds the run of the forwards, and then g gets involved in the game and as the rhythm of the game improves, he improves as a player. I mean, Mata is a, is a wonderful footballer, but just didn't fit as, as well. It's not so much that he did anything wrong at Chelsea, just didn't fit with, with Jose Mourinho. And then you have a team who are winning. And when, you, when, when a team is winning, it's always impossible for, for the manager to, to change your formation or to swap personnel in and out. Um, so chances are going to be few and far between for, for, for mm. one matter. So he goes to, to Manchester United in a, in a style that suits him better than Stamford Bridge right now. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.